Great seeing you back for Devos. Okay, we're talking about labor and work all this week because if we don't work hard, God's not going to bless us. We should work hard at everything that we do as believers. So hard work brings blessings. We've been looking at this week. Look at me in 2 Thessalonians 3.10. For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. Wow. Okay, I got to tell you something here. I think we need to take a look at what we do as Christians. I'm going to tell you my policy. If we have somebody that comes to us and we know they're just begging for money, and we know they're not trying to get up on their feet, they don't want to work, but if we feel they don't have food, then we're going to help them some. But actually, the Bible says as believers that we are not to enable lazy people who refuse to work. And, uh, you know, I, I just, this is what the Bible teaches. Working hard and making a difference builds our self-esteem. If you really want to, your children to be blessed, first of all, you want to give them really strong discipline. When I mean strong discipline, you know, the, kids should be a little afraid of dad, really afraid of dad, and a little afraid of mom. So they should be the ones that they're scared to face if they get in trouble. So you can do with that what you want, but you need strong discipline. But then we want our children to learn disciplined lives. You want to teach them how to work, give them little chores to do. Uh, maybe at some point they have their chores. Then you give them opportunities to make some money, keep the money low. And the reason why, you don't want to spoil them. And, but you want them to take pride that they know how to properly put away the silverware when they're little or properly you know, cut the grass as they get older. And then you praise them for the work in which they've done. That build self-esteem in a child. And they've had many studies on this. So Christians should be shining examples of hard work and excellence in the marketplace, no matter what kind of work we're doing. So let's just think about this. So you're a believer, you work at that job, you ought to be the best worker there. You should be putting other people before yourself. When there's a dirty job and nobody wants to do it, look, you're only working maybe till four or five o'clock, well, take the dirty job. I'm telling you, people will love you. They'll like working with you. And they'll listen to you when you're witnessing to them. Now, it's hard to get Christians to do that. I want you to think about that. But we should set a really good example. Okay, working allows us to be good examples for our children and our grandchildren. So I, I believe it's at home. I, I, I say this over and over again. I'm sure this won't be forever. My children have never seen me lay around the house. Never. <laughs> I still don't. I, I, if I'm laying around the house, I'm next to death, okay? <laughs> That's it. I, I, I believe setting a good example. And if it's my guests that are there, or my adult children that are there, or if it's my grandchildren that are there, I work for them because I believe that's a good testimony. Now, when you do that, that's what your children will do. That's what your grandchildren will do. But if your kid's seeing you laying around all the time, just sitting there doing nothing, <laughs> they'll, they'll follow you. Okay, I'm just, you know, you can think about it. Maybe I'm bizarre. I don't know. Okay, first, I am bizarre. First Timothy 5.8. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. So the Bible says we have to take care of our families. I, I mean, really, it, it, it talks horrible. We're not talking about, you know, supplying a college education. We're talking about putting a roof over your head, something, food on the table, clothing. Endure the pain or you will carry regret. Okay, last thing I want to say about this. So this is how you put work and your faith together. You pray as though everything depended upon God. You work as though everything depended upon you. Now, when you put those two things together, full dependence upon God, but I'm going to do every single thing I can, and I'm going to go the second mile. God will answer your prayers, and he will greatly, greatly bless you and your family. 